Hey everyone, it's Phoebe here, and I'm gonna go through one of these really cool updates we have with our UI and saving out the toggle menu and how all of that works. So let's jump on in and have some fun while we learn. Okay, so here I have a complete blank screen. Just so you guys all know, we're gonna first just like, I'm gonna break down how this works for you, and then I'm gonna tell you like some things you need to know about it and also walk you through like how it could help in a workflow. So let's first start with how this works. So it works pretty easily. If I just drag and drop this file in here, automatically it's going to open up with my project files toggle menu, like how I saved it. So this is how I save the project file with this toggle menu and everything. So when I drop it into an like empty workspace, automatically Flow is just going to bring in like how you saved your project file. Okay, that is the default for just bringing it in into a new Flow. Now, if I have something in here already, and I drag and drop a project file in like this. A pop-up's gonna come up and this is when you get to decide. So right down here, there's something called display settings. That's what the toggle menus are. So if I check this on, the display settings that I saved with the project file, so however I save the project file with the display settings like checked on and off is what will then show up. So if I have this checked on and I hit OK, those project file display settings will then appear. Like so, completely different like setup. And as you can see, the toggle menu is a bit different and all of that. Now, that's when I had it checked on. If I go back, to this one, right, and drop it in, and uncheck this, the default display settings will be used, okay, the default display settings will be used, just wanted to repeat that. So this is the default display settings. As you can see, it was very different from the first time we saw this file, okay? First time we saw this file, it looked completely different. Now when we see this file, it looks like this because these are the defaults. We can go through it right now. So default has quality render off, schematic render off. It has for your garment display like almost everything checked on except show 2D measurements and show garment fitting suit. For a trim display, it has everything on. For avatar, it has show avatar and show 3D pen avatar. For fabric, it has textured surface. That's the thing that will be shown, not um, thick textured surface or anything. It's just textured surface. Fit maps are off. Avatar is textured surface and the environment is show 3D ground shadow and show ground grid. That's the default. You, of course, can have something set up differently. So you're probably asking me, all right, PB, like, why, why? This can be helpful for if you, like, for, like, setting quality standards or anything like that. Or if you're about to go, or if you're like going to go into rendering this out, or if you wanted to fit it or anything there. So think about it this way. So like here I have my Garmin and I want, like next time I open it, I want to kind of do sketching or I'm going to pass it to someone who kind of wants to view it as a sketch and maybe they're going into a fitting and they kind of want to see the fit maps. That's when I would maybe turn on schematic and I would turn on like the first stress or strain map, right? Maybe I'd also say like, I don't want to see the avatar because I kind of just want to focus on the garment. 
and have that all set up. And I'd also say like, you know what, I the internal lines and base lines are confusing me and I also don't want to see pins and um, anything like that. But I would say like show 2D measurements if you have them. Great. So maybe I'm like, this is, this is what I want to see. Then I can hit file, save as project. And I can say like, I don't know. I could save it just as a project, but I know I'm going into like a fitting. So I'm going to save this as the fitting. This will then be saved. And then the tech designer or fit person, or even me, if I'm going to fit it, will then open it up and it will be all ready and prepared for them. You could also do this if you guys are if like brands and vendors are working together. Maybe you tell vendors that like in stage one, you have to show all pins, show all strength, like show, show everything so that when you easily look at it, you can see everything. Or if you're using all our closed set, when you easily look at it, you see everything. Or you can say final stage, you want to make sure that it's like quality renders turned on, schematics turned off. Like you want to make sure avatar is always hidden when you send it out. That way, like you'll always see the project file how you want it seen in that stage. That's why we made sure that the toggle was saved to the project file. Because maybe like it's moving forward in stages. Hopefully it is because it's getting adapted. But you can kind of see how this will work and how this will be helpful in your workflows. Just know one thing to know is this only works for project files. And if you're using an old file, like anything made before 2025, you have to first save it and then uh, the toggle will be saved to that project file. So you have to first save it within um, 2025 version and then it, the toggles will be saved within the project file. If you bring in like a 2024.1 version, you won't have this option and the default settings will just automatically show up. But that is just some fun facts to know. And yeah, and then I can see all of this. Pretty easy, pretty great, and that's all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. And if you have any questions, use that comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. There's so many great videos for you to watch that are all about like all of these great features and everything. Um, and thanks again for watching. I hope you had fun.